Flint. Well, new here at noon, the man accused of shooting two Tulsa police officers and his getaway driver is in court this morning. Our Vincent Hill is live at the Tulsa County Courthouse with what's next for the two men charged in this tragic turn of events. That's right, Aaron. From behind a camera, the judge remanded David Ware and Matthew Hall to remain in jail without bond and setting their arraignment as early as this week. The virtual hearing for David Ware and Matthew Hall took less than 10 minutes. David Ware, the man accused of shooting the two Tulsa police officers, was not represented by an attorney. The judge advised him if he did not have a lawyer by his arraignment, a public defender would be assigned to his case. Matthew Hall, the alleged getaway driver, was represented by an attorney, something District Attorney Steve Kunzweiler says is a right to all charged with the crime. But when we bring that case, if we do, we will bring it in a court of law that's subject to due process. Anybody who's accused of a crime enjoys the presumption of innocence. David Ware will get his chance for his due process this Thursday, July 2nd. His arraignment is scheduled for 9 a.m. Matthew Hall is due back in court September 2nd at 9 a.m. And Aaron, although we're waiting to hear the condition of those officers, I did ask the judge if any charges have been upgraded, and he told me they have not. That's a good sign that these officers are still fighting to stay alive. In Tulsa, Vincent Hill. Two works for you. All right, thank you for that update, Vincent. And we are learning more about how police captured the suspect and his accomplice. Court documents show Officer Zarkashan stopped David Ware for an expired tag. Sergeant Johnson then arrived to back up Zarkashan. After several minutes of trying to get Ware out of the vehicle using a taser and then pepper spray, the two officers wrestled Ware out of that vehicle. Chief Wendell Franklin says they got Ware out of the vehicle, and that's when he shot officers at close range. The officers went down and the driver slowly walked away from the vehicle and got into a waiting vehicle that had arrived to the scene and drove away. Well, police were able to identify the driver of the red Jeep Cherokee based on the license plate. Both Ware and that driver identified as Matthew Hall were arrested several hours later. And law enforcement everywhere showing support for the officers now fighting for their lives. Yesterday, supporters put flowers on a squad car at the Mingo Valley Division, where both of those officers were stationed. Karen Gilbert, former city councilor and now head of the Tulsa Crime Stoppers, has worked with Sergeant Johnson to fight crime and put criminals away. You know, our officers are, 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 you know, are human just as much as we are. Um, Sergeant Johnson has um, two little boys at home, um, also has a wife. And, um, you know, we don't know if he's going to be going home. Well, Sergeant Johnson joined the Tulsa Police Department back in 2005 and was promoted to a sergeant in 2015. Officer Zarkashan recently finished his academy training and started patrolling less than six weeks ago. While the officers are fighting for their lives, former homicide detective Dave Walker says it's a reminder of the risks law enforcement takes every day. Uh, we know that it can happen when you, when you get up and you put a badge on and you put a gun on your hip. Uh, uh, we're doing that for a reason. Well, the Tulsa Fraternal Order of Police is asking the community to show their love by leaving messages of support for Sergeant Johnson and Officer Zarkashan on a patrol car outside the Mingo Valley Division.